Hey folks, Lonnie back out in the shop again today. Uh, we're going to do a real quick rundown of what we got going on in the shop and then we're going to do some work. Alright folks, first of all, most of you know I've been working on the old Sears again. I've got the motor bolted down, the hood bolted down. I've got a new battery for it. Um, I've got a pulley for it. I got the tires on the front. Uh, all we got to do now is mount a gas tank, a gas pedal, do the wiring and the exhaust. And then that right there will be ready to ride. Uh, this is my buddy Noah's. He has got the body tore off of his Murray wide body. He's also got the rear end pulled out and he's got the frame standing up right here. He's got to redo the whole steering on it because the bushings are completely shot. So that's the deal with his. Uh, the deal with the four wheeler, which is the one we're going to be working on today. Uh, I figured out the stator is bad. So apparently if your stator ain't working you're not going to get no fire so anyhow what we're going to do today is we're going to put dual shocks on the back the white bar that you see going up and down right here that is connected to the swing arm on the bottom and to the framing for the bed on top that's not allowing it to have any suspension that's the way i was going to do it but i've recently scored a four-wheeler suspension and i'm going to take the two rear shocks off of it and we're going to put both of those back here. So we will have suspension on the full wheeler. Uh, I had posted some pictures of a Sears Suburban. This one and another one. Uh, plans have changed a little bit. There's another YouTuber that was really wanting my Murray. Uh, the one I was going to use for the fan build. So I'm, I tried to help him out. And he done a little swapping with me. As you can see, and if you've seen on Facebook, I acquired the old Sears that I used to have back. Uh, what we have already done is we've already put a 13 horsepower Honda on here. It's a pull start. Already came with the gas pedal. I'm mocking up where the gas tank is going to sit. It's just sitting on there for now. I, I know I didn't record none of this, but... I had a lot of company over and it's, it's real hard to record with company. Anyhow, uh, uh, we bolted the motor down. Also, I built this brace across here. That way I could weld the stop clutch back inside of here. Uh, because the whole mounting system that was on here uh, had the gas tank over on this side, right through here. And you were to mount the battery through here. Well. That system is right there, and as you can see, that's a big old steel plate. I wouldn't have been able to bolt the 13 horsepower Honda on there. So, we've removed that, and that's basically all that I have done to it. Um, it did have that little old Kohler on it. Runs perfect, but I, I didn't want to keep that. I'm not a Kohler fan myself. Anyhow, I uh, picked up some exhaust yesterday from a, a local flea market. Uh, motorcycle exhaust, but it's got good bends in it. So I'm going to use this to make some exhaust for the Honda and the 16 horsepower Vanguard. Uh, what else do we got? Yeah. Also scored some new stuff for my drill press, some drill press clamps. May not seem like a lot to some of you, but man, this stuff helps. I mean, you can have a free hand to do other things, you know, rather than having to hold your material. Uh, but anyhow, that's basically catching you up on what we've got going on here. And as you can see, my shop is a wreck. Uh, for the last week, we've had four people in here every night working on stuff. Um, there's some more people that... Uh, basically ran me down chased me down uh he used to be an old buddy of mine and uh his friend they came up to my work wanting to know i guess they finally 
ran across some of my videos on YouTube. But uh, I've been helping them. I helped them. I posted some pictures. Uh, built a double clutch pulley system for them. Uh, Todd Fearless Front has done this in some of his videos. A, a few other people have done it. I've done it. Uh, they were needing some help, so we built. We did that. Uh, we also welded up their a couple rear ends for them. Uh, MST two hundred six rear ends. I had the other MST two hundred six. I think I had it in one of my videos that I bought for twenty bucks. Uh, the dude showed up. My old friend. His name's James. Uh, he showed up, wanting me to weld a Spicer rear end, and I'm just not a fan of Spicer junk, so. I hooked him up and gave him a MST-206, welded it up for him, and he'll be installing that. Anyhow, folks, I've got a new battery for this, new battery for that. I'll get a battery. Well, I won't need a battery for that. because This one here is just going to be basically just a simple little mud romping toy. Uh, nothing major. That one there is the one that I'm going to continue building on. That'll have the LED pod lights on it. Uh... I'm going to try to get the rear rack back that I used to have and uh, probably put a winch back on it. Anyhow, guys, let me get this thing dug out of the back corner over here and we'll start working on this thing again. All right, as you can see, we've got the dump bed full wheeler over here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll check this edge up. I'll put a block underneath here with my jack jacket up. Then we'll cut this brace out like I was talking about. You have to have it jacked up or else this whole thing's just going to fall down and try to meet the rear swing arm. So, we'll get that done. But, I'm going to give you an exclusive, uh, I guess, YouTube inside. I'm going to announce a project that I've been planning on doing. Uh... And I hope you all will go along with it and enjoy it. I'm still gathering parts, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to announce a build that I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to enter it in the ATL TF build off. I'm not really even put a lot of thought in that part. Because what I'm going to end up doing is... I'm not sure if it'll go along the rules. I'll pop over there and I'll check it out. But I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to build this uh, for that competition. Anyhow, as most of you all know, I've been working on the uh, Peerless 820 rear end. I've got it all cleaned up. What i got to do is just uh, seal it up. I'm not going to lock it. I'm just going to leave it wide open diff. Uh, I've still got to clean the, the cases, you know, the outsides of them. But yesterday while I was out gathering parts and stuff, I came across that one. As you can see, I'll spin you over. I can't turn my camera sideways because it's not going to allow me to here. But you can look at that. Let me get some of that. There you go. Peerless 820. 02A. That one over there is also a Peerless 820-02A. Here's where it's going to get a little interesting. I'm going to take you outside. My build is going to involve using both rear ends. I said I acquired another parts four-wheeler. I've talked to a gentleman. Some of you all may know him. He's known as Doc Sprocket. <laughs> if you'll notice, this has front suspension on it. It better have. It's four-wheeler. But you look, you'll see this got steering hubs. I hope you can see where I'm going with this. I'm going to take the front suspension off of this. Either this one or another one. Either way, it's going to have front suspension from a four wheeler. I'm going to try to adapt the front 
spindles to be able to use. And if you haven't guessed it by now, I'm going to make a four wheel drive lawnmower that does not require you to have an all wheel steer transaxle using both of these. It's going to be long, it's going to be tedious, but I plan on figuring this out. Uh, like I said, I hope you all will watch. And if you have any kind of input, hey, post them up in the video's description comments down here. Not description, but down in this comment section of the video. And of the videos when I start building this thing. I haven't got a lot of the ideals in my head yet. And I'm going to go out here and I'm going to say this right now. I am not copying anybody's design because I've been out of the mower scene. If there is somebody that has done this before, I'm very sorry. Post a link to your video and I'll check it out. But as far as I know, nobody has done this. I don't even know if anybody has talked about it. Like I said, I've not been in this mower building stuff for two years now. So... This is just something that's been going through my mind since I scored, well, actually before I scored the 820. I've always thought about, or lately, I've been thinking of doing this. Yes, it will have steering knuckles from an ATV, but I'm going to try my best to keep the rest of it mower related. You got to know what you want to do. You got to dedicate yourself to it. You gotta wake up thinking about it. Go to work thinking about it. Go to bed thinking about it. You gotta dream about it. I put my life on this. Hand to God. Other hand on my chest. I like these eyes. I don't play by the rules. N -n -n no one does. I butter both sides of my toast, little pump, just because. You chase the golden arrow and watch the archers mark up in the sky.
awesome and we all take risks. That's my crew. No, no, nobody tells us what to do. We made this happen. Never through we're gone. piece out of there cross brace there that was going down now there's nothing right now other than the jack that's keeping this from falling down to meet that rear a arm so now we're going to go out and we're going to get the shocks off of the parts four wheeler and we're going to figure out a mounting location for them back here and figure out something that goes some kind of mounting location on top right here all right we got this off <clears throat> that's the two rear shocks that's on the back of that four wheeler out there that i showed you that's the one that was on here you can see how much difference there is the thing i do like about this one is this spring it's got adjustable tension on it these two don't but these i'm going to say are going to be more than enough for what i'm ever going to use this thing for but it will have suspension with these now the ideal is to take both of those, mount them somewhere back here, coming up to another cross brace, straight up, and I'll use the, what I've done is I cut the top mounting hardware off of the frame, so I'm going to utilize those. Alright guys, as things usually go, you know when you're working on something, you plan something out things change along the process quick change up we're not going to be using the double shocks in fact we're not going to use one of those shocks at all i had mentioned a while ago that i didn't like how these wasn't adjustable but it was okay well i've got this shock up in there i don't have it welded yet i've got the top tab on there and got it sitting up against that cross frame right there i realized this thing has a lot of strength on it not to mention if I need it to be a little stiffer, like I said, I can adjust that. They've got this adjusted as loose as it will be. So all I've got to do is turn this bottom one, which will put more tension on this, which means it'll hold more weight and pick it up. So I think we're going to leave this thing right here. We're just going to weld this in. We're going to call it good. All right, guys. Now that we've got this mounted back on here, got the, the bed all mounted back down, Shocks welded up, bolted up. I'm going to climb up on this thing and I'm going to try to bounce and see what kind of suspension drive we have. If it'll hold me up back here, close to the end here, you know, I'm going to bounce on a little bit. And if it'll hold me up, then this will be plenty strong enough to haul anything that I'm going to haul with it. Uh, also, it'll be strong enough. After I build the drop hitch system, uh, it'll be strong enough to hold a trailer back there too. So let me climb up here. We're gonna try to. All right. As you can see, we do have suspension. I think that'll work, guys. I'm 190 pounds, so that's plenty enough. Uh, I know the further you get out, the more it feels like you're going to have weight, you know. But the hitch system that I'm going to build on this is not going to be based off of the top frame. So it's not going to have nothing to do with the suspension. It's going to be based off of the rear swing arm. I'll attach to it and I'll come up. 
Uh, let's see. Maybe. I might end up by bringing it off of this frame. That way, it'll have a little bit of the bumps taken out of whatever I'm hauling uh, as far as hook to a trailer. I'm going to weigh my options, uh, but uh, one way or another, we're going to build a, a hitch system that'll come off, and I'll have a ball back there. That way, I can hook a trailer up to it and you know pull things. 